All right, let's just do a quick scan here for some paint ideas. Kind of like this. It's got a little bit of thickness to it. I mean, a very small amount, but you can kind of tell. It's got a little texture on it. It's got a little gloss. Like this is cool. I like I like how this is all peeling off, but it's a, maybe a little bit shinier than than I want to go. And I mean, it's cool. This kind of enamel thing. Maybe we'll we'll try to do something that represents this enamel and something that represents, you know, whatever. I, I don't know anything about actual manufacturing. So however they got the paint on this metal, you know, powder coat or whatever. So we'll start with the powder coat and uh, I'm gonna put it on this piece here and I don't wanna make it black, but I'll start with black and I'm just gonna invent, I'm gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing here and I'm gonna say powder coat. I should probably Google that because, yeah, actually I'm gonna Google it. One sec. All right, powder coat. So I can see, yes, there's a bike. That's kind of what I'm looking at. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna officially declare, hopefully this is a, a relatively safe thing to, to uh, call this. Um, if I'm wrong, please feel free to make a comment in the section below or whatever, or I don't care. It's going to be just fine. All right. So, and the only reason I really am worried about that at all, aside from snippy YouTube comments that I'll get in like five years, is um, I want to be able to organize my stuff. And, you know, if I know, oh, yeah, the powder coat was what this looked like, then, it, you know, it's just easier. Because it could be like paint one, paint two, paint three, and then it gets kind of confusing. So I'll probably call the other one like enamel or something. All right, so uh, inside powder coat, I'm gonna go ahead and make a fill layer, drag it in. And uh, you can see, uh, once again, it's basically like made everything the sort of base white from the fill because there's no masking going on at all. If I turn the powder coat off, we can see, oh yeah, there's our base metal, yay. So what I need to do is come over to powder coat and I'm gonna add a mask with color selection and we'll just call this one yellow. And even though I made that a separate material, I don't really want that to be, to, to, for all of these to be white, but I kind of want this whole section here to be one one piece. And this I definitely want to be something different so I can get a nice sand out. But anyway, so now I've got like all this other stuff, right? That kind of sucks. I don't really want these things to be talking to the powder coat layer. And this is totally normal. Like you just kind of, when you're, when you're making your material ideas, you don't always know how things are gonna kind of shake out. And you can see here, there's this like, this line, this kind of broken line. And if I click on the mask, you can see it's because there's enough color selection difference. Let's see if I can get this to pop up. Like between all the way, all the way red and all the way, all the way yellow, there's some kind of like blended pixels that are not quite registering as either one of these values. So what you can do is you just go to the tolerance and I'll actually click on my mask here. And you can see just with a little bit of an increased tolerance, Oops, haha, that's the completely wrong thing. Let me actually select the mask. It will go away. So with a little bit of tolerance, we can get a nice even fill there, a nice clean mask. And then for the rest of the stuff, I'm gonna add a paint layer and I'm gonna call this mask erase. And it's hard to, whatever, like obviously we can't see the whole thing, but uh, in the paint, I'm just gonna, we're still working in the mask, right? So I'm gonna go over here, scroll down, we'll be painting black. And you can either just come in and just like straight up paint it on there if you want, like this, which is certainly the quick and easy way to do it. If my, uh, my performance would pick up a little bit here. If you're noticing issues with your, uh, with anything that you're doing, while while you're working, you may come over to window, uh, texture set settings, and then you can take your, let's see, where are we right now? Working at 1024. So were I to, if I needed, 1024 is already pretty low. Um, and this is, I think I've got like a 1070. Uh, so it's a reasonable graphics card. I don't think it, I just got that slowed down from painting because of the graphics card. But if you're having an issue, you can always reduce this value. It definitely has an impact on the visual quality. Like, let me just come over here and put it at 2048, which is what I thought I was working at. And it'll go through and do some thinking for a minute. You can see, and now we've got like a lot more subtlety and fidelity here in that texture, which is cool. There's some stuff going on 
that is I think a result of the procedural understanding of like where the where the material should be applied like where the crevices are that's giving it this kind of like weird clean area so I may have to go back in and revisit that but I'm not going to I'm not going to start tuning I don't even know how much of that visible uh, that there is uh, is going to be visible I might throw some paint on there anyway so uh, another way that you can apply that mask is we can just come over here to our I don't know what is this a polygon fill and you can select triangles quads elements so like if some part of this wasn't like for instance these things are not these whole this whole piece of geometry here is a a standalone thing it's not welded to this other geometry so I just need to take my value down to black and I can just click that or I can do UVs now I know that this area of the UVs is probably not attached to this area of the UVs so I can just kind of click that and it should turn all that stuff off same thing with both of these so basically what I've done here is I've just applied but you can see what I should have done here is the element and it would have grabbed the whole thing so totally normal if I uh, if, if I click this, it's going to turn, it's going to eliminate this. I'll just show you what I'm talking about because it's all part of the same element. It's all welded together. But if I go to UV, it should let me take care of it without too much trouble. Uh, yeah, so anyway, what I was going to say is it's totally normal to assign your material IDs incorrectly, right? Like you don't always know, especially if it's a freeform thing like this. Like if somebody's giving you a concept and you're working from the concept, then you know exactly like all the straps are leather and or there's three different kinds of metal or whatever and you can you can set it up appropriately. But when it's something like this where we're just kinda like, I don't know, let's see how it looks. Then uh, you know, you have to you have to employ an extra little layer here to either add or remove sections of your mask. Like for instance, uh, maybe I don't want the these bolts to be masked out. So I can just come over, I've got my paint selected, I'm painting black. Uh, I need to go to my brushes. And I'm just going to grab the basic card brush by double clicking it. And I'm holding control and uh, right mouse button to uh, to change the scale here. There's a, there's a bunch of these things. So like Oh, and I'm going left and right. So if you go up and down, it's like softness. And if you hold all, whatever, it's there's there's a bunch of hotkeys. I can never remember them. I always just have to cycle through all, you know, 24 before I finally find the one that I'm trying to get to. So it's not really the best workflow, but after a long enough period of time, you will actually build muscle memory to be selecting the correct ones. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of hop around. And again, I'm still working in my little paint layer. Click it a few times. And I probably could have turned symmetry on. And you can see that symmetry line is going right down the middle. If for some reason your symmetry is not going right down the middle, you can actually play with it. You can you can uh, uh, scoot it around to really, really dial it in. It's not unusual for it to be kind of screwed up. So for this kind of thing, I just rotate my little light here. Give it a few clicks on that. All right, so uh, let's see, we were going for that and we have this, so not anywhere near close, but it will get close very quickly uh, in the next video. So stick around for that.